Welcome everyone to your July readings as well as the astrology update. I do apologize for my delays to bringing this to you. I did have some obstacles, however, not to make excuses. I shall try to make it up in energy for you during this video. Cancerian, you have get clear coming up. It's the love card upside down. Simply love upside down, growth right side up, and magic upside down. Assure that you're clear on what you're feeling, you know, in the circumstances that you're involved in presently, especially with regards to love. Whether it's romantic or it is with, you know, a partner, a friend, a business, whatever you're involved in with the relationships that are in your reality right now to go towards the direction that could manifest the things that you desire and as well that would be something that would be giving you what you're meant to receive. See, Cancerian, you may be the type of person that gives so much love and maybe don't receive that equal amount of love back assure that you are receiving as much as you are giving so this could be something that you need to grow in yourself is, is to allow things to play out in the circumstance for the other people so that they can figure out how to deal with things and that sometimes could be hard for someone with cancerian to just look at what they need as far as nurturing capricorn you have Pegasus transcending, just breathe, hopeless and helpless, walk away, and solar plexus upside down. You may be going through the process of transitioning, transforming, downloading some new concepts that's about to manifest into your future reality. However, you may need to pause and take a breath and just see that you're not hopeless and helpless that there are things that maybe you need to walk away from to make room for the things that you want to create motivation and drives and there is a need to not put motivation and drives into a particular person or energy or situation so take a breather take a moment to really see what is it that's really coming in that has a higher frequency for you or has a, a different route that maybe is best for you and it may seem that there could be you know rejection but the rejection might be the protection for you right now. Leo you have harmony coming up as well as awakening your true self. Flow which feels like it's upside down. <laughs> Clues and the butterfly. Things want to be a harmony for you right now, Leo, and for you to really awaken who you really are and really show your true colors, but things may not be flowing the way that you desire. However, look into what's the clues that are coming in for you that are allowing you to know that there's some transition that's evolving that is more beautiful than maybe you've been envisioning. If you really look to the things that will change, transform, be beautiful for you, then you will see how harmonious things really can be when you're true to yourself, your authentic self. Pisces, you have learning coming up, giving and receiving, and it's upside down. Spirit of gratitude, support upside down rest and reconsider. There's a need right now for a learning to occur, for something to be observed in such a way where you understand that you give possibly so much Pisces of your energy to situations or circumstances or to people and you may not be receiving that equal amount of energy. So you're showing me that you are very grateful for the situations that are coming in right now but not seeing the support that you need to rest and really reconsider your scenarios right now that you're involved in that you kept experiencing giving so much and not receiving back now it's time to learn that you don't have to always give so much and not receive an equal amount of energy. What happens is, is it tends to be almost like a debt that's owed to you. An energy that's missing that you're giving out and you're not receiving back. 
And it's okay to be giving, it's okay to be nurturing with people or kind to people. However, it can be very draining when it's always one-sided in energy that we're giving, right? So it's time to learn, time to really experience that there's something here that's showing that you can receive just as much as you give. Taurus, you have magic of nature, prayer, release, partnerships and alliances upside down, and oceans. There's of course this fairy energy, and fae energy tends to be children or animals or nature, and it's also playful energy. There's a need for uh, playfulness and playful energy and support with these types of energies and nurturing that and having faith in prayer that if you have to release a partnership again this could be partnerships or alliances if there's anything in your reality Taurus that needs to be released of course you're not made of stone and you may cry you may get sad you may have emotions about it you may be uncertain of what's going to happen, and that's okay. Just be aware that prayer does work. To put some effort into the prayer, and to put some effort into being playful, and enjoying those things that you do have presently. Virgo, you have quieting the mind, daydreams and decisions. Throat chakra upside down, chop wood upside down, patience upside down. There's a need for you to meditate, relax, or go on a walk. As there's a need for you maybe to go more inward to see what are your daydreams that you want to manifest into reality. What are the decisions that you want to make right now, Virgo, that is suitable for your needs, that isn't hard work for you to achieve things that come very naturally for you and at times it could seem like maybe it's very laborious to speak with certain energies in your environment if that's the case there's a need for some patience there's a need for you to maybe take a walk or take a breather or like i said meditate whatever your body allows you to do which brings you to your zen and to allow you to bring that patience within you to really see and grasp the situations that need to come to light as you seem to have a lot of uh, knowledge to offer and you may need to use your voice to provide this knowledge to people. Aquarius you have opportunity beckons, contemplation, one ring circus, tears. Aquarius, there's opportunities for you that you can actually feel already. It might have already thought it, it may have already come to mind. However, you may be stuck on something that has made you upset or made you sad because you've been putting all the work into something and it's not giving you back the same energy as you're giving. So contemplate a little bit deeper on what those opportunities can be, newer opportunities, ones that you could adventure towards, ones that'll bring you joy. So there's a need for you to tap into that resource of adventure. If you need to still continue to contemplate, that's great, but try not to overthink it. There may need to be a moment for you to just enjoy, right? Kind of like letting your hair down energetically in a sense. You don't have to suffer alone doing everything all on your, you know, all by yourself. There's more for you. Scorpio, you have fortunes, Leo. The eagle upside down, two of air, dreams, and time for a nap. There's things that could come about that you know, could be a surprise for you. It's a whole new direction that can happen or your fortune can go your way in such a way that you really, you know, could spiritually enjoy, but yeah, you may not be seeing it. You may be ignoring the spiritual message coming in, telling you that there's fortunes coming for you or good things coming for you. You may be instead needing to rest, 
right? Time for a nap. But then there's also dreams. Don't nap on your dreams. Of course, get the rest that you need, Scorpio. But don't ignore those signs that come up saying that there's something for you that Spirit is trying to show you is going to be a gift to you or a reward for you because of the energy that you put out there. So just be aware that there's something trying to come to you. There's good things trying to manifest for you. Get the appropriate rest that you need and really follow your dreams. Libra, you have patience, progress, waterfall effortless, stability, share the love. Libra, there's a need for you to be patient with the situations that are coming up. As there's a lot of progress occurring that you maybe have not seen. You could be sitting in your emotions, possibly wallowing in it, not seeing how there's a stability that's available for you. And it is showing that you know how to share the love. You know how to give. You might feel that you're not receiving that same kind of energy. Whatever it might be, Libra, you got to trust that in the right time, the things will work out the way you want. They'll stabilize the way that you desire. If you see the stability card, see, you know, night and day. There's things that happen that are positive. There's things that happen that are negative. But no matter what it is, root yourself to the things that are most stable right now for you. Have a little patience with the progress. Really see the steps that you're taking. And even if they're little steps that you're taking towards the direction that you want that makes you feel rooted and stable, that is something, right? At least you're not ignoring you know, what you're supposed to be doing right now to create this stability for yourself. Aries, you have dedicated effort upside down, child upside down, conflict and defeat, love and the ego. It may be that you are trying to put efforts into something and it's just not moving the way that you want. It may even be causing you to go more towards when you act like a child sometimes. No offense to any Aries out there. Um, you are the youngest sign of the zodiac. If you really see the signs that have been coming in, it's a grasp that these conflicts could very well be because you might need to put a little more effort into the situation. You may not be dedicating as much energy as possibly people that are involved in the situation. You know, it's okay if you sometimes feel like you want to act young and you want to be playful. Well, if you are and there's a situation that needs you to put more effort in, you can maybe Put in effort while using it in a in a positive way by being playful while whilst you're putting in effort rather than being combative or conflicting with other people focus on the energy that you need to dedicate to others sad you have purity between commitment right side up winter solstice reflection acceptance upside down Sag, there's a need for you to stay in your purity. It may feel like things are in between right now, meaning there's like situations where there's one foot in and one foot out where you may want more of a commitment or something more solid coming from the circumstances that you're in right now. If you're seeking something to be more solid in your reality right now. You may need to first reflect on what can give you that because you may be denying the fact that you're trying to receive a commitment from the wrong energy so you want to put in the effort into seeing what you can really accept as the right energy that can put its efforts in to commit to meet you you know where you want to be met and that aligns with your purity gemini you have lead coming up release compass blessings upside down rejoice and celebration upside down Let's take a lead in letting something go right this is at an autumn equinox release keep in mind that there's a need for you to release something and when you release it you can go towards the directions you can lead towards the directions of your blessings that you could celebrate however you may not be 
looking at those blessings that you have that's available for you that can allow you to rejoice in celebration and you could be celebrating with other people as well if you so desire so take that lead into considering what you need to let go right now that will guide you to where you really could receive right blessings are manifestations that could be yours things that you want to make happen right bring to fruition it's the reading for all signs we got trust upside down owl wisdom reveal upside down dreams coming true upside down and tree grounding so there's a need for us to trust the wisdom that's coming in our own wisdom or if it's wisdom that's being shown in signs in our surroundings and for us to really see what's being revealed to us right now that the things that we really want to attain or achieve or go towards or move towards can come true and can get rooted the way that we desire so trees of course is grounding it's something that could be rooted many trees once they're you know planted they usually don't just you know pass away after you know many hundreds of years sometimes some are thousands of years like the example of the redwood supposedly redwoods you know unless we chop stuff down uh, redwoods wouldn't pass away unless lightning strikes them right so trees can be rooted and be ancient and survive for you know hundreds or thousands of years depending on the type of tree so being aware that we can be more grounded and more rooted in our dreams if we really take the most wise road or the most wise path owl medicine or totem is really about being able to swivel your head around 360 degrees being able to see at night prepared to see in every and all direction able to know that things you know may be the way that they are but you gotta trust something being revealed to you in the subtleness that could create what you desire the dreams that you want right and this is for all of us we could be more rooted than we think we can have better foundations than we believe and for the astrology updates as we begin to orbit as earth around the gas giants like jupiter neptune saturn we can have some heavy impacts to us as far as feeling these magnetic pulls on one side of the earth as there's really kind of no balance going on since there's not many planets on the other side of the spectrum here. Even though there's some certain tensions that could come up, we need to go into some more self-care. Jupiter at the end of the month going retrograde, you gotta trust our own instincts as well as divine signs and really trust the things that we already know we're blessed with, maintain awareness through you know, these transitions that are upcoming we have a uh, capricorn full moon that's going to be conjunct pluto and that will be going on on the 13th moon's opposite placement cancer is its home however pluto and and the moon being conjunct on the 13th our reality may not be correlating with what is uh desire to pay attention to what really works best for us but to be able to trust that the higher frequencies are still available no matter what is going on planetary so forgot to mention that july 11th is pluto going to the exact degrees of when the usa formed in 1776 you know when they signed the declaration of independence being aware that this is coming back are we really in alignment to that energy basically what was brought to us to allow us to have our freedoms i know it didn't work out that way you know, in the beginnings of it we have freedom than most people in the world being able to see the benefits of what we have and then be aware of what's going to come up these days as far as government also you know the sun's going to come into leo which is home and that's great that's going to be on the 22nd mercury is going to also be in leo and that's going to be on the 19th this month is kind of like a mixed bag there'll be 
moments where it seems like things can start to be okay and then moments where it seems like it could be a bit maybe rough or dark but if we have faith that things could elevate because cancer leo season is when the planet is in a higher frequency it's supposed to be going through the six chakra energy and we could put that energy for the next six months if we're saying hey we want to plan on having a certain thing occur in the next six months that we want to focus on we want to achieve or attain we're also gonna have new moon on the 28th on the day of jupiter goes retrograde and it's going to be in Leo. It's not a bad placement for a new moon and manifest things. We probably want to look to assuring that we're, you know, in our confidence, we're really gaining in the things that we want to express for some of the month with the cancer energy. What What's our emotional nature about right now? And are we nurturing our emotions and our reactions right now? And where do we need boundaries when it's appropriate? And what are we putting energy into? And are you talking to a brick wall when you're helping somebody? And um, are you really meant to heal a certain person or are you really meant to share all that information with them? And is it best for you to share it with the right person? Put your energies in the right place. Being true to or most true to who you are despite the challenges that come in. Taking care of our situations and the circumstances that we need right for our ourselves first of course you know there there's absolutely nothing wrong with assuring that you're okay first and foremost and to assure that you're valuing your worth really looking at what keeps us serene and tranquil these days free your heart and souls from that which could be trying to muffle it or you know steal from you or dim your light not that everybody has this intent, but being aware of who is really trying to muffle your truth. You don't have to um, think of it as narcissistic when we think about ourselves. And if they're making you feel like, you know, hey, you're not serving me, right? Then consider they're thinking of only themselves, right? Watch the mind manipulations that could come up right now. Put your energy into the right value of things does it mean literal on the money right because it's like you know you could be wealthy but are people valuing you are you receiving the right energy back nurturing yourself resting when you need to and uh, i hope this helps you on the present